Hello, 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 hello. Um, my name's Lisa. I'm really pleased that you have been able to join me this morning. Uh, be joining me for my car. <laughs> this is where I do, uh, where I read the devotion. On my way to work, I park up in the car park and I get my phone out and I read the audacious devotion um, in the mornings. So just give you a minute to get settled. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for wherever you're joining me. Um, I'm really pleased you made it. It's so important. You made it. You made time to be encouraged to get into God's word. And yeah, so I'm going to share my story with you. Um, it, I'm really excited to share it. It's, it's a good one. So if I, um, if I just think back to May 2019, uh, we were on holiday in Florida and it was a dream holiday. Um, to take the kids to Disneyland, take me to Disneyland, clearly. And, um, but the thing was, I needed to do business with God. I needed, before the holiday started, I needed to get in front of God because I had been carrying around a very, very, very sore heart for many, many months. And it was born out of disappointment. So just to take you a little bit further back, um, in the October of the year before, my son had decided that he wanted to go to a particular high school. And I believe that God had spoken to us about that high school and confirmed in my heart that this was the one that he should go to, even though we weren't meeting any of the entrance criteria. So he decided, my son decided to sit the additional exam it was his faith journey. It was his prayer. God, please put me in the right school. And when we heard the news to say he passed the exam, but he hadn't been offered a place, I was completely heartbroken, completely heartbroken. And I couldn't, I couldn't even pray about it, which was so weird because I know we can go boldly into to God and, and, and lay everything before him. I know that I can believe by faith. I knew all of that and yet I was so heartbroken. You know, this wasn't just for me, this was my son's journey of faith. It was his first real sort of prayer request that him and I had sat down and prayed over together. How do I explain it to him? How do I, how do I bring him through this? How do I on the one hand say, have faith, God is gonna come through, God promised this to us. But on the other hand, acknowledge how disappointed we were and how upset we were both. So anyway, we appealed and in that process of appealing, all I could do was worship. And I would worship like my life depended on it. I would get into the praise pit, and I would sing, you know, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, God, you are the light in the darkness, you're going to make a plan. And, and that's all I could do. And so then when we found out that our appeal would be heard while we were on holiday, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was like, what do we do? And then I was talking to my mum and dad and it just so happened. Now they don't live in Manchester, they live in Newcastle, but it just so happened they were gonna be in Manchester on that day. And, and yes, they would stand in and yes, they would do the appeal for us. And that was a huge miracle for us because it meant we could go on this holiday. So back to me being on holiday, first day of holiday, and I'm sat in the bedroom and I'm, and I'm God, I've got to surrender this to you. I can't, carry this anymore. I can't carry this burden anymore. It's just too heavy. I've done everything I can. I've prayed. I've worshipped. I just can't carry it anymore. And so I did the audacious um, devotion, actually, and it took me to a passage in, in Peter. Now, if I can just put it in front of me, um, it's 2 Peter 5 verse 7. And it says, cast all your anxiety onto him because he cares for you. And I said, God, I'm just giving this to you. And I physically went, I'm giving it to you. I can't carry it anymore. And so then off we went to the magic kingdom 
um, in Disney World, clearly. And there we are, and we're stood, and I can see the, the, that castle that you see at the beginning of every Disney movie. And something catches my eye, and it's a plane in the sky, and it's writing a message in the sky. And of course, you stand and you watch, and I couldn't believe it. The message was, trust Jesus, because he loves you. Trust Jesus, he loves you. And I went, look at that. That's incredible. That's exactly what I prayed this morning. Anyway, that was it. That was my miracle because right there in the moment, I could just release it. It was like God confirming to me in a very special way that he had it. The appeal was in the next 24 hours. There was nothing I could do about it. I could only just trust God and get on with my holiday. Three weeks later, we got the letter in the post. He got his place at his school, but most importantly, I learned to let go. I learned to surrender. I learned that I could cast my anxiety, my cares onto God, and he took care of every single detail. So church, thank you for joining me this morning um, and listening to my story. I hope that's encouraged you. Um, I hope that as you read through those verses that God speaks to you. And yeah, see you soon. Love you, church. Bye.